Go on. Welcome back to the channel. So today, a nice interesting background as always, or at least I try to. This is Koh Putong Temple in Thailand. And I'm in front of a tree that is literally thousands of years old and supposed to be one of the luckiest trees in the world. And you can see, from what I understand about the custom, there's a special powder. You rub it into the tree and then the people come here, the local people or people all over the world actually come and they pray. Now, normally they pray to wish someone better, health, good health, whatever. But in today's world, it's often used to see uh, if they can see lottery numbers. So once again, Ty, just zoom in there or here. And if you can see a lottery number, that's the one to buy. This is very, very popular in Thailand and evidently very successful. And if you do win, my PayPal address is below on the notes and I look forward to 50%. I'm only joking, but who knows? If you saw a number, seriously, go ahead and buy the ticket, enjoy. And what happens here, if you do win, the tradition is with the money, uh, you actually buy a dress because the tree is evidently a young lady and you buy a dress here, which are not for sale, but you actually go and buy a dress and it gives you more good luck on how you spend the money. So all these dresses have been donated from people that have won lotteries from looking at this tree. So today, however, it's a technical video and I'm going to show you how to make your large phone easier to use, two essential settings that I think you're going to enjoy and you probably don't know. In fact, I'm going to throw in a third one, how to use the flashlight even better and it does more than what you think. So we're going to go on right now. Action. Okay, three little uh, things that you may not be aware of that will help you when you're using your new or relatively new Samsung phones. As you know, they're all becoming a larger, larger, much more difficult to use on one hand, especially as you can see, my thumb can hardly move on any of this. Actually, it's difficult because I'm doing the video, but did you know you could just do this? And now you can make it one hand mode. So if I wanted to just tap this for the keyboard, I could just tap everywhere without trying to do finger gymnastics by pressing to the top and bottom. I can change it from left to right. Uh, I can also move it up and down, which is a new feature. So I could have it anywhere I want, as you can see. And the minute you're not finished with that, you just tap anywhere on the screen and it becomes full size again. So just to show you again uh, how to do it, you just basically go to the bottom, anywhere on the bottom, a little tap, sorry, a little tap downwards, not upwards, and move it down wherever you want this to be, uh, left or right, and you've got one hand mode. Very easy now to work and operate the whole phone, as you can see. You actually can set it up exactly how you like, and let me just show you how you, you get into there. So you go to settings, you go to, let's have a look, uh, where was it, under advanced features, and you scroll down and you've got one hand mode and you have some options on this I've ch so you turn it on obviously you can choose by gesture is how you've seen it or by button if you're using the old-fashioned method where you have the left and right and the little button in the middle you can have that instead and it does the same thing very useful makes using your phone a lot easier and less chance of breaking it or damaging it the other thing that is really fantastic, and I use this more than anything else really, instead of having to do uh, all the bottom and left, all that stuff, here on the left and the right, if you can see, I've got these blue bars. So by doing that, it would take me back to the last thing I've done. You see that little arrow come out? I can also go to the left and right. Now I can program, let me just show you, this to do whatever I want. So if I go back to the right, lift it up, you'll see I've got all the apps that I can close whatever I want again. Going up, back there again. So, and on the left, if I go the same, I just go back here, and I've tilt up to the left, I've now turned on the flashlight. If I turn it up again, you can see the flashlight is on, and I will basically turn that off. 
By the way, just by tapping that, you have the option to turn off. You don't have to go to the top. So let me show you how to operate this. You can now get it from the Play Store. Before, it was part of Samsung's Good Lock, which is really annoying because you could only get that in a few countries. For some reason, it's geo-locked, as they call it. But now you can get this from the Samsung, uh, Samsung App Store or the Google Play Store. And it is called, and let's have a look here, One Hand Mode. I'm going to tap on it. I'm going to take my time to show you this because a lot of people have not been able to get this to work. The most common reason, they open it up and they don't activate it. You've got to turn it on. So here, with the left, you can have just the right handle or the left handle. So on the left handle, you, if I just stroke it to the right, I can have the task switch, uh, switcher. But I can actually, if I tap on that, these are all the things I can have it do if I so chose. All that stuff. And you can customize this as much as you want to do exactly what you want. Uh, as you can see, I did the uh, flash screen before. You can have it screenshots, screen recorder, timeout, turn off the phone. Uh, it does uh, an awful amount. It's very clever. Go back. And if you do the long swipe, so just by swiping it longer, again, you can actually set it up to do even more. And then you can have on both sides, so combined, you have 6, 12, 24 different things that you can do with this. And you can align the handle so they're base, basically the same size. You can adjust the size, the length, and the color, which is really, really neat. Uh, so just to show you that again, advanced settings on that. You can change the touch width, just to show you if you look at the, the bars left and right now. You can see they're getting bigger or smaller. Change the size, that's the length of it. Watch again. You, so you choose it where your hand is most of the time and you can choose the low, high, etc. and you can choose the color. So I get out of that and once you've done it, okay, I've got nothing to show you here, but there it goes to the shortcuts, go up to the top, all my running apps, really clever, makes it a lot easier to use it one-handed again fantastic little feature makes your phone much more customable customizable i uh, hope you enjoyed that one and the final one quick tip of the day when you do use a flashlight there it is obviously you can tap it and the flashlight is on i won't try to blind you here but did you know let me know your comments if you do if you use any of these let me know if you enjoy using any any other comments anything else you want me to review but did you know if you keep your finger on the flashlight, you can adjust the brightness. So if I turn the flashlight on, you'll probably see just from the reflection, I can make it much darker and really high. You could actually blind someone with that. Uh, nice little feature. Not many people know that, as they say. Not many people know that. Um, hope you enjoy it. Please subscribe um, and enjoy the video. Let me know if you like the introductions that I do at the beginning. I'll, I'll try to do more with those, or would you prefer me to go straight into the videos? Thanks again.